Michael, Lisa, this particular neighborhood near Main Street is one where people can at least start to walk through the water. But as you can see, abandoned cars still left on these streets where people have never seen this kind of water end for this long. Today, people are finding a way to walk through nearly waist deep water still and try to check on what's left inside their homes. This is the first time so many are able to drive their car up to the water line and get the answers they have been waiting for since having to evacuate. One mother talked with me today after taking her daughter to the apartment complex, pull out what they could and go back to stay with family. She met with the disaster survivor assistant teams in Robeson County today, which is helping people register for assistance to get some sort of guidance as to what to do now with a home that is not livable. Um, everybody's just at a standstill, you know, we're just waiting. You know, he just let us know that the condition that everything is in, we have to relocate. That's what they're for. We're just hoping that they can get us somewhere else, you know, to stay because we don't have a home right now. She says that's why seeing her house today was so important to at least get a better picture of what the water left behind. And today we also got an update from FEMA for North Carolina. A total of 24,000 people have applied for assistance and $6 million has been given out this far. Reporting live in Lumberton, Audrey Bisk, WMBF News.